welcome back to Culture Shock. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, so this is an episode about maid cafes. Maid cafes. Yeah, a cafe with maids um, attending and uh, serving you food and drink. Oh, I like going to the cafes. There we go. I like maids. Yeah. Well, now, what is a maid cafe? It's exactly what it sounds like. So it turns out there is a long tradition of cafes in Japan. Um, Japan was the third highest... Second, high, uh, second or third highest producer of coffee in the world for a long time. Really? Yes. Um, they consume more coffee than France. Um, wow. Yeah. So uh, there, there's a, a big cafe culture there. Mm-hmm. And partly because you, know, you live in these small apartments, um, you want to get together with friends, you go to a cafe. It's a convenient that makes sense. meeting place. It's easier than hosting a handful of friends where there's no space <laughs> exactly <laughs> go out to a cafe right and business meetings things like that can mean you to do it there and then you don't have to clean up afterwards someone <laughs> exactly um so um maid cafes evolved out of um a lot of anime and manga stories with maids who serve um uh, uh you know rich people in in palaces and things like that and folks said wouldn't it be fun to be served by a maid wouldn't it be neat to have a maid and they said well let's have a cafe where all the waitresses dress up in maid outfits and and serve people uh, food and drink so um, a maid cafe will be a full service cafe you can get um, any sort of uh, drink and food it generally um, doesn't allow alcohol um, because that makes an adult business you know it becomes basically a bar which is yeah, yeah. Um, you, there are some of those, but it just gets complicated. Um, <laughs> Alcohol sometimes changes people's Exactly, yes. <laughs> That's the other, the other side of that coin. Um, and the other fun thing is that the maids will behave in a certain way. Mm. So traditionally, or at least as has been shown in anime and manga, I don't know how true this is, um, but maids will greet you in a certain way. They'll call you... Uh, master or um, Goshujin sama. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> um, which is, yeah, master is not exactly the right word, but it's the closest we have in English. Like like the, 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 the master of a household. Exactly, master of the household, sir, basically, sir. yeah. Um, and so you come in and they'll say, um, 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 uh, Itarashai Goshujin sama, and, and please come in, and, and you sit down, and they sort of attend to your every need. And oh, they come over. To be and pampered. Exactly. <laughs> they pamper you, they talk to you. They'll often decorate your, your, your food or your drink. They'll draw something in the foam, yeah. things along those lines. Um, it's a lot of fun. And then you can often pay a little bit more to play a game with a maid, you play a video game, or a little um, card game, things along those lines. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. Now, this goes back to a, a, a long tradition in Japan of what are called... Um, hostess clubs. Hostess clubs. So this is a very similar thing, and it's probably where maid cafes really grew out of. Mm. Um, this idea that you would go in and there would be um, female staff on hand just there to converse and chat with you and just sort of keep the conversation flowing. Cool. Um, so uh, now, of course, um, you also do things like you will buy a bottle of the house liquor while you're there. Um, and she will encourage you to drink from that bottle of house <laughs> liquor, you know. So th- th- there's always something that the house is kind of working through that relationship. They've got an angle. <laughs> They've got an angle. Um, but the idea is, you know, you come in. It's been a long day at work. There's somebody who's going to chat with you for half an hour, an hour. We'll kind of keep everything going. It's a nice, wow. relaxing way of spending some time. Um, and so maid cafes are kind of that with the addition of French maid outfits, really. It, is, are, are the outfits traditionally French maid, or is it... They evolved out of the French maid tradition, yes. Um, so they'll often be a little cuter, a little more the, the gothic Lolita style that you may have seen in Japan. Um, so it's not exactly the French maid outfit, um, but uh, it's definitely, you know, the, the, fr- the, the frills and the, sort of the, the black the hair, and white. Uh, exactly, uh, all that. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, often, actually, they're not black and white anymore. They'll oh, be pink or they'll pink. be red or purple, so whatever. So there's some variety to Very that. much so, yes. Um, and also, some maid cafes will have certain styles to them. So oh. they'll sometimes they'll cosplay, so they'll dress up as anime oh. characters. Oh. Um, um, sometimes they'll... Um, um, have a certain theme to their outfits, so they'll all dress a little more formally, a little more informally, things along those lines. Wow. Um, a, a lot of it is dependent on the cafe itself. Sometimes the cafe will allow the in, each individual um, uh, server to do whatever they, they to have some some uh, options. Hmm. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. I it's like fun. that idea. Um, now, of course, there are rules. There's rules. Yes. Uh, no touching allowed. Um, no photographs oh, unless you ask first. That's a good um, courtesy. Exactly. Um, you know, don't ask them for their phone number. 
Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and some some you know, reasonable rules like that. You know, don't loiter um, outside the front for when the the, the, the girl that would leaves. Be creepy. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that that makes sense. You know, and that kind of thing has happened in the past. So you know, just just don't be that guy. Um, <laughs> but the, the the idea is, you know, they're there to provide entertainment in the cafe for when you're there. When you leave the cafe. They have their own lives, you know. Uh, let them be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, no associations of uh, no. Well, relaxed. Everybody has their work. Exactly. Keep it professional. Well, same thing in in, in hostess clubs or the host clubs uh, for uh, which have have men uh, as as waiters. Um, mm-hmm. There's this big idea among people. It, it's the classic, you know. Oh, I, I was talking to this hostess club and we really hit it off. She really likes me. You know, we're gonna be, we're, we're, um, she's going to be my girlfriend. It's like, no, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. Um, now, if you want to enjoy a maid cafe, a lot of anime conventions in North America and in general the rest of the, rest of the world are starting to host their own maid cafes. Hmm. So local organizations will um, get together some folks, train them on how to do that, and they'll have a, a maid cafe there at the con. I'm a pretty shy guy when it comes to things <laughs> like that, but I might try something. It takes some getting used to. Um, but the, the nice thing is they're there to pamper you. They're there to help oh, you out. Wow. So um, uh, uh, they're there to pay the, the <laughs> attention you want. Um, and then, you know, they can head out and just kind of, uh, you know, you, uh, you enjoy what you want to enjoy. It's a lot of fun. Now, if you're interested in some examples of this, um, in anime, if you've seen the anime series Lucky Star, episode uh, uh, 16 involves uh, the characters going to one of the girls' um, part-time job, which turns out to be at a maid cafe. So you get to see her at her maid cafe doing her job and dressing up in outfits and so <laughs> forth. Uh, and there's some fun um, uh, running gags in there and, 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 and jokes about some of the characters. It's a lot of fun. If you look for an example, in manga, a maid shokun is a manga that came out uh, a little while ago. Oh, she's got her tray. She's got her, got her tray and her outfit and all that kind of stuff. And um, this is a manga about a girl who goes to work at a maid cafe. What I like about this particularly is that she is a, um, um, I think she's 16, so she's technically too young to, to work there, oh, but she ooh, sneaks in. Pushing the um, edge. Exactly. <laughs> and so this does a good job of both celebrating maid cafe culture while also showing some of the, the, the dark sides or the other unpleasant aspects of it. So, for example, guys loitering around afterwards <laughs> trying to pick up girls. Um, some of the girls have had various um, adult jobs in the past. That's not unusual in this sort of line of work, unfortunately. Um, and, uh, and the things like um, money's down, do we start ex- um, selling liquor? Oh. Again, it makes us kind of a... Uh, yeah. Trickiness of business. Right, what exactly. What compromises are permissible? Mm-hmm. Which ones, how do you make those decisions? Right. So. And, then, and then, like, as soon as that happens, she can't work there anymore because there's no way oh, at 16 she could... Young. Yeah, no way. Yeah. Um, so a lot of those interesting aspects of the fact that, like, obviously it's enjoying and trying to promote that culture, but it's also saying, but it's also a part of the real world, and there are, you know, downsides to it, and there, there are problems to it as well. So this is a slice of life from that Very perspective. much so, yes, exactly. Um, and so it's, it's more positive than negative, uh, which is one of the reasons I like it, and I, I really like the, uh, the art style. So you can go check that out. Unfortunately, only the first volume was released over here in America. Um, I don't know how much more there were. I think there were another two or three volumes in Japan. We never made it over here. The sales were, were not. But this is a, a pretty good overview of uh, maid cafes in general. So if a person likes cosplay, mm. is that uh, a possible outlet for some of the it can excitement be. of cosplay? Exactly. And it depends on the maid cafe. Um, in some of them, that's your outfit. That, that, that's your uniform. You know. <laughs> uniform. Yeah, they, they decide that's what you wear. That's what you're going to wear every single day. <laughs> Um, in other places, you can cosplay however you want, and it goes. Some people might like, you know, dressing it that way. Um, but others will give you more flexibility. You may be able to bring in your own cosplay uniforms, things like that. Um, obviously, subject to managerial approval, <laughs> and some will not be appropriate. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, um, some cafes will definitely give you give you that outlet. Wow. Yeah. So um, if you're interested in in in, in um, uh, working for a maid cafe, check your local listings. There are often uh, some maid cafes working in the area that, again, th- you know, they'll only operate at a convention or at special events, um, but they're out there and it's an option. That would be fun to go to. It would. It's, it's very interesting. Next chance I get. There we go. Cool.